Happy ones, Pam Bailey here. And I thought we'd work on this um, page that I have uh, in this journal, Woodland Fairy Journal that's completed. And it's this little fairy um, in here. So that's what we'll do today. We'll move that aside. And I, what you'll need is, if you want to make it the same, uh, just some of this. Um, I never can think of the name of this. Why is that? This gauzy stuff. And it's been coffee dyed. Um, I used a half of a hanky before, but you can use fabric or whatever. And then like a little doily dyed if you'd like. And then... I used a Tim Holtz Bigs. I love these Bigs dies. And it has the like dome. And what it's called is the Tim Holtz Sizzix Bell Jar with Pedestal. I cut that from this. The other one was more of just from an acetate, but it was hard to see that it was you know vellum against here it kind of blended in so the other one i kind of just took a little gold and smeared it around the clear vellum but this one i found has a i don't know where i got this but it has like a little you know pink pink holographic tone through it so i cut that out and then here's the stand that i cut out of a coffee dyed paper. A fussy cut a little fairy. And then some words. I'm going to put observation, I think. So I'll cut that one like you're observing the little fairy. Soon to be released, of course, from the bell jar. And okay, let's uh, let's just get going with this. I've got other things. Some things I don't think I have to show you. They're pretty self-explanatory. Maybe I'll just show you uh, like the tags and things. And then one thing I did too, if you want to get the look of sewing, uh, but it's an afterthought, you can just sew on it and then hot glue it, so it looks like it's been. You know sewn on you know what i mean you just put your hot glue on this side and then it looks like it's been sewn to the top okay so let's um just put this together i'm just gonna lay this down like it's the tabletop and this is the uh little tablecloth that the jar is on. I hope to make more of these dyed. I had fun last year. You know, when it's beautiful outside and you want to be outside, you can dye your papers then. Just have a couple marathon days of dyeing. This is with food coloring and coffee dyeing. And I have a video showing how I do that. Let's see. Let's put it about here. And it just so happens to fit perfectly there. And I'll glue this together too. To give it a little more strength. That's pretty. And then we'll just put our Decide what side we like. I think I like that. Yeah, it's kind of a snowy day here. Pretty though when the sun comes out. That looks pretty good. 
And then we took cheesecloth. See, it comes to me, but just <laughs> eventually. Oops, sorry. We'll take our cheesecloth. Just put this here. And then we're going to put observation. on that Oops. let's see if my hot glue gun's going i think it is working then the oops be help if i put it right side up right I like how that is kind of hanging off here for now and if I don't like it later I will cut it off now we got to put our little fairy in here I guess I should have made sure that she would fit she does I hope this is okay uh oh maybe this won't work well no Okay, now i got to see if this will come apart or not. Hang on. Okay, I'm not sure what I want to do here. I thought that this would come apart, and as hard as I tried, I can't get it to. I don't know if I really want this with a fairy, and then the I just cut another clear out with the, you know, just anything plastic. Plastic. Or, I'm thinking of just using maybe the clear and doing what I did before. Now, see, I don't think that you see the outline that well. What I did before, I just took like... Let's see what I can find. Or would it work? Don't know. I really like that pink. Um, I wonder if I inked it up a little bit. That would make it not quite as pinkish. I just wish I could take it apart, but... Not seeming like I can. I don't know if this is going to darken it any. Or what if I took the, you know, the plastic and just like I did before, I kind of made a little bit of a border or just, you know, the whole thing. I want it to be able to be seen. I think that does help where you can see that it's a jar, you know, outline. So I'm going to ink it a little bit more and I'll glue it down. I inked it some more and I put the ink side down so in case it would smear off. And I used my art glitter glue and it seemed to be okay. And even if the glue did show here, it just gives the illusion of the um, glass. You know, because glass has different shadings or highlights or reflections. And she's going to be right there. And then 
take the other piece that's been inked and I'm just going to glue this down with my shaky hands. It's a cute idea, huh? I like her. All right, so we're gonna let that dry. It's really cute. And like I said, this will dry and we'll, we can come back and see how it looks. But if you kind of smush it to the glue, whoops, just gives it a little outline. All right. And then we just need to glue this piece on and then we'll uh, figure out what tag or something we can do. Whoops. Am I recording? No. Okay, I thought I was recording a minute ago, and I'm not sure if I did or not. But what I did was I inked in a walnut stain, um, and then I inked it all over, and I put the ink side down, and then I put the fairy in here, glued her in, inked the other side of the clear vellum that I cut out, or it's just a sleeve. Um, and then... You know, I added my fairy, then I put this over it. And when this dries, you'll just have a little bit of an outline so it looks more like it's a jar. So that's what I have. And when it dries, like I said, it'll look better. And then we're just going to add this that we did the stitching. And we're just going to make it look like we stitched it on. Because sometimes you add things later. You know, you don't know exactly what you're going to do, or you just feel like doing it later. So it has the look of stitching. So we have this. Surprise, there's a fairy. And then I'm going to uh, see about, I don't know if you need me to just show this. This might be boring. I'm just going to take this page I'm going to add on this torn dyed doily and then I have this digital and I'm just going to put one of these index cards in. I'll probably add a little something there so then that will be glued here and then I'm going to take some tiny little leaves and what I'm going to do is, and I had thrifted these a while back, I also can use them in my a little dollhouse as leaves and then I just put a couple leaves here I just think that's fun that's what I like to do so a couple of these and then I'll figure out what tag we'll do next so I don't want to bore you with like just stamping or whatever or you know basic things so and I'll ink around this. And let it dry. How about we just do a couple here too. So I'll ink around this. Glue it down as a permanent pocket here after I've put this paper doily down. Okay, let me gather the things for the next project. I think we're going to make this little shaker card that I made for the other journal. Cute. And this, I mean, you use whatever paper you want. Uh, what I'm doing is, it's about four by eight 
so some type of decorative paper and then I'm going to back it with some craft and then I'll you know do some sewing around it I'm going to and then I'm going to use this Dollar Tree netting over it And what I will do now is, I think I'll attach the backing later, just to give it more stability is what I'm doing. And I'm going to be using leaves, a couple leaves. I might add one to the top. Uh, just some little bits and pieces, um, like little flowers or little seed beads you know, maybe a couple butterfly sequins. So um, I'm going to go and sew around here and then I'm going to leave the opening um, open. Now I think what I'm going to do is, before I do that, I'm going to glue a couple leaves on. Which you don't have to do. Just thought it might be kind of fun. For another little dimension. And your shaker tag. And let's do one more. There we go, and I'll be right back. Okay, I went through some of my glitter, or what is this not glitter? Sequins. Picked out a few things. Uh, let's see what else. I'm going to add some of these flowers too. I thought I'd show you what I'm going to pick before I sew. Just a couple flowers. And then I think we will add, and then I'll just add some seed beads like that. Okay, after saying not to sew the top i went ahead and sew the top and i just went from the back and cut the thread so i have a opening here i'm gonna add a little bit of um seed beads here and just a couple of these bigger beads i don't know what they are but it helps to gives uh give it more motion because you've got some dimension for the shakers, the sequins to move. So let's just add these little guys. Put them in like so. Shake them down a bit. And let's see what we got. And then we can sew up the top and I'll add like a little leaf at the top too. See if that's what we like. I think so. I think so. It's kind of pretty. So I will just sew that up and then I'll trim around it. Maybe I'll add just a few more of these bigger ones so it has a little more movement. And then I'll trim the tag of the netting. And then I'll 
sew that back up and then back it and see what we got. Okay, I sewed around it twice. I just thought it gave it more stability. With that wonky stitching and I'll also, you know, glue along the edges just to, you know, I don't think they're coming out, but I could just, eh, it's probably pretty good. So this is the fun. You can still see the little butterflies and the little ferns and all the fun little shaker things. I'm going to just glue a craft to the back to give it more stability. And I think that's pretty fun. Hope you try it. Bye-bye.